Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda. That means I'm Michael. Yes, and today I have a cumulative thrift haul. And to be honest with you, these bags have been sitting in our bedroom for, I don't even know, weeks because I've been concentrating on listing inventory as it comes in and I haven't been thrifting. So, so I've got like stuff that you've picked. Yes, but for, like this little stack, this was what I got one day. So I've definitely gotten more selective. I often leave the thrift, thrift store with nothing. So we're gonna go through some things today. I like to watch these videos because I like to see what people are picking up and then you can follow along and on my what sold videos, you can see what I'm selling them for. And I will say, I'm not gonna tell you cost of goods for these things because what I do when I go to the thrift store and come out with say 12 items, I'm just going to average my cost of goods for that day. If I only come out with one item, of course, you know, I'm gonna log it as that. But I do let you guys know my exact cost of goods and all of that in my what sold videos. So, I like that we're wearing our matching shirts today. You asked me to. I know, I love it. I like when we match. And I said yes. So, I gotta find us some more things that match, or we have a Cricut, you could you can make us some. I could make that. Yeah? Yeah, that's just final. All right, let's jump in. How cute are these shorts? High waisted is not my jam, but it is summertime here. We are officially on summer vacay. These are the brand BBG. And because I already had the cost of goods, and I will tell you my cost of goods was about $5, which was a little high, but I wanted some shorts in my shop, and I know this has a size and all that. Oh, here it is. They're a size 28 pinup super high rise. So they were a good size, and I just thought they were cute. So I did bring my Hulkin out here. You can was, fold it and put it in your Hulkin? You can, this stuff. Like yes. white? Actually, no, this stuff, leave enough other there, because I'm pretty sure this stuff I already typed into inventory. Oh, and I need to check need and to see. You need to put it away then. Yeah. All right. All right, these are a size medium, just some cycling shorts. Are those the padded ones? Yeah. Cannondale little, little is cush the brand. For your tush. Yeah, when I first got my Peloton, I definitely ordered some of these. So, this is an Athleta bathing suit top. Did you say what store these all came from? These, this is a Goodwill. This is a Goodwill. Oh, haul. Yes. So I don't know if that's a new tag or an old <clears throat> tag. I'm not up on that with Athleta. I just thought it was really cute. Just your standard. I don't think you wear any of that. Athleta? No. I don't think you have any of them, personally. But this brand I do own a lot of. This is not a newer print. This is definitely an older shirt, but it was, I think, the color of the week. So this is just a Lululemon tank. Mm -hmm. And the tanks do not do as well as other things, but it is a size 10, which is a bigger size. It's actually the size that I wear in the tank tops, but Pretty sure I already have this, so. You're considered a bigger size? Yes. Women. Well, this is a size large t-shirt. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't get it. All right, this is Denim and Supply from Ralph Lauren, which I've never picked up, but I do know it is. The tag's cool. Go for. Isn't that cool? Ooh, we have the pockets. Yeah, I just thought these were super cool. They are. Did you hold those up where people can see? Yeah. USA patriotic themed. Just in time for 4th of July. I know. So I just had to have these and I believe they're a bigger size. They're the boyfriend cutoff in a size 28. Even the inside just looks really cool. It's so. not big, that's smaller than me. Yep, this is the size of shorts I wear. So, all right, let's- Seeing a theme here, you keep calling yourself big and it's not true. I'm not, I never said I was big. I, I am considered a bigger size. Like if jeans like size 24, 25, 26, those are tiny. Well, I'm not an extra, extra small. Delaney is tiny. Extra small, small or medium. I'm a large. Her so. daughter's like this big around. <laughs> That's true. All right. I do not like selling evening wear. It is not my jam. It takes up too much space. It does. So I think I, I am putting together a, a box for the real, real. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, send that one away. Yeah. Um, this is from a local thrift store. I, um, I paid $9 for it because I knew it was vintage and it's Tadashi, which... <laughs> I never can unsee, you know. What? Big Hero 6 now, that was the brother's name. Oh. Tadashi is here. Oh. I just think it's a really pretty dress. And did I tell you the size? No. No, it is a size four. Four. UK size six. I just think it's cool. Um, but I don't want to have to photograph it. Did I tell you I paid $9 for it? You did say that. My brain's everywhere. So I think I'm gonna send this in just because- Is that a separate pile? No, it can this go can in go there. In the whole yeah. Thing. 
Okay. Okay, so all of this is from the same store. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I got that for myself. Oh, this is a personal buy? I think so. Can't remember. That's why she handed me French pastry. It has a really I mean, cool It's tag. very soft. Yeah. And it's got a little knot down there. And it has over. a really nice Bible Is that like verse. a mid midriff type shirt? Is that why it's tied up like that? No, not necessarily. Isn't that cute? Show them the tag. Oh, uh, like gives you uh, directions on how to make something. <laughs> so I, I need to try it on. That's why I said I might keep it. But I just thought it was super cute. This, I think this was like a dollar. That's why I picked it up. But it's Pendleton. And it's like a linen rayon blend. I don't, it doesn't have buttons, right? It's, like cloth, it's just a drop cloth. open jacket. Type yeah, no buttons. Cardigan thing. I don't know, but it needs to be steamed, which, so. Ain't nobody got time for Don't that. look for this that to be listed anytime soon. All right, this Same. was kind of like one of those things where I've heard of the brand, I never purchased it. It's Joseph Ribkoff. I do know that the, it has a following. This is a USA size eight. Um, I don't know, it's got like an attached tank underneath with like the waterfall style open cardigan. So I don't, I don't know. I think I'm gonna list it just to try. <laughs> you just like to say, I don't know, in I this guess. one right now. You're at a loss for words. I am, because this is, I, this is, when did I buy this stuff? You don't remember any of this I, stuff. I don't. This is like an unboxing <laughs> for you. I purchased this stuff on the way to the um, JBF sale. The one that I drove then and picked up stuff? Right, at? which I've already sold like half of that stuff. Gotcha. This is a Lululemon, almost like a base layer. It's got the thumb holes. This is one that I've got That's to look a up. running shirt, right? Yeah. Does it have that thumb um, on? Does it have? Oh, it's a size six. I like that it had the actual size because sometimes on their shirts, it's hard to find the size. They do hide the size dots. Well, sometimes shirts don't have them at all. This one was a good find. I've only sold the Mini Melissa collaborations with this. This is Carl Lagerfield and it's a blouse. Animal print is always in style. And I think, no, oh, it's just polyester spandex, but it feels nice. It feels silky. Mm-hmm. Here's my receipt. I need that for my cost of goods. These I was shoes. super, well, Super excited to find these. They, they had these priced super low because I don't think Papilio? they. Oh, buy Birkenstock. Right. Okay. So they're Papilio, but it's by Birkenstocks. I knew by looking at them, and you know the footbeds look a little bit worn, but not not really. Uh, and the bottoms do look great, so hmm. they're really cool. I thought for, at further glance like that there was hibiscus. something wrong with it, but that's yeah, just, it's just like little hibiscus flowers on there. Yeah, so I thought those were cute, and I want to say they were. $1.99. Is that a school pickup alarm? Yeah, I need to delete that. Oh man. I don't gotta go to school to pick up nobody today. Hey, you wanna talk about those? Do I wanna talk about them? Yeah. So she picked up a pair of Merrells, which I know you like to grab. It's a good mm -hmm. brand. Pretty good shape. What do you got, a size 10? Yep. So, I mean, they're strictly what? Like, they're a hiking company, right? Is what they started like out. Outdoor. Yeah. Yeah. Trekking. They're cute. Yep, good shape, pretty clean. This this store just doesn't, doesn't price shoes up very high, so it's kind of where I go to. Like this is the brand Monroe, which I have also heard of, never picked up before, and for their price, I was like, well, I'll try it. Size eight and a half, just a velvety career loafer type. This is a good find. No, Maybe it's my size, but. Don't need it if I live somewhere colder. You do not. It's a size eight and it has the hang tag still and which it's maybe been washed once, but it's a cool camo print. Zip up. Huh. Yeah. I like the hardware, the little zipper. I have so many receipts. And one pair of more parachutes. What do you got? These are towels. towels. Yep. And China, we've sold those before too. We have, they're a size nine. Is that like a gladiator ish? Not exactly. I mean, it doesn't come. They're tall, like a but... comfort sandal. Gladiator would be if it was like a tall. Yeah. yeah. So, great shape. All right. All right. 
moving along. This was another day at a Goodwill. That was just a random one-off local thrift store. This was Goodwill again. What do we got here? Oh, All I got these for my son. <laughs> They're just a pair of like comfy shorts. Guess I should probably give those to him. If you want to wear them. Another BDG. Cheeky. Brand new though. Yeah, brand new with the tags. Cheeky super high rise size 30. Oh, I lied. This is not Goodwill. Uh, did I say it was? It's City Thrift. Yeah, this is our um, another random thrift store that we have. No, not City. This is um, the one off Mary Jess. Oh, community Thrift. Community yeah. Thrift. Uh, so anyway. That was close. I did not pay $11. This store drives me crazy. They staple. staple. Yeah. And there are so many awesome items because it's not a not-for-profit. It's a for-profit. I don't know where they get their donations from, but they get really great items. I leave behind so many items I could make so much money on because they destroy them with the staples. So I have to be really careful, but this was the color of the week. So they were half off of that. So I thought that was great. And then more durable. And I thought staple. this even longer ago than that. These also came from there. Oh, what are those? These are the brand Jewels, which is a great brand for kids and women. It's hard to read there. But these are brand a new. brand new pair of little girls' yeah. sandals. Never worn. So I still, guilty, have not listed any of the denim from that denim thread up rescue box. I had some great stuff. And I know those denim boxes can make a lot of profit. I just don't like listing denim, but I need to get into it. Uh, shortly after I got that box is when <clears> I <throat> purchased these. I'm like, oh, I have a bunch of denim to list anyway. Let me grab these. So. I did a lot of research while I was in the store. These are a size 31 or 12. These are Abercrombie and they are like a, they remind me of something you wear at Casey's, like baseball type pants. Cause it's got pinstripes. I don't know, it's just how they look, but they're definitely like the in style right now. So I, I saw a stock pick up picture of them. I was like, oh, okay. Hmm. I've never found this brand. I was happy to find them. These are good American. They are a size four and they're in decent shape. I did look them up because I think I did pay $9 for them. And I wasn't sure if these were supposed to look like somebody like literally cut them with scissors. But, yeah, they're not straight at all. But they are, that's okay. That's how the they style. look. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. This was Goodwill. This was a day that I bring it in and I found one thing. I also was my first time finding, so I, <laughs> I remembered in my head, okay, what's, what areas did, I would watch the video and someone said they always check the black pants section because they sometimes find this brand. I promise you, I went over there literally looking for this brand and I found them and it's the only time hmm. I've ever found them. Beta brand. Ooh. And they're just a pair of black, they're like pull on, they're meant to feel like you're wearing athletic wear, but they're career wear. Huh. So. They're in fantastic condition. So I was really excited to find those. It's not often you go to a thrift store, in my opinion, and say, I'm going to find X, Y, Z, and then you actually find it. I dropped a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. I did find a bathing suit, and it's not new with the tags, but it was in pretty great shape, and I looked up the brand, and it was worth getting. I think they had it listed for, like, a couple bucks. The brand is 1-1. And it's just a very bright neon, which I'm a Lily kind of girl, so it definitely caught my eye. I thought it was cute. And it doesn't, they're, look at these bottoms. Ooh, they're very cheeky. And they appear to be in, in pretty great used condition. So I know some people don't like to buy bathing suits unless they're new, but I figured for a couple bucks. Give it a try. Give it a shot. What's this? Oh, this is Free People Movement. This brand does pretty well. So does their Free People Beach. This needs to be washed. There's a little bit of deodorant, but I just thought that's an interesting strap on the back. Yeah, or, like the hold this part. Or? No, the bot. It goes like that. If you hold the bottom, I see. Like it pulls it across. Yeah. There, there you go. go. Like that. So I thought it was a little cute. Cool looking. It's different. And yes, I found a pair of Paige jeans with no puckering. I think they had like four pairs. The other ones did have the puckering. And they are tiny, they're 26, but again, it was the color of the week. So they were fairly inexpensive. And so this is the brand. I recognize the, mm -hmm. 
the tag. tag. Oh yes, that my OxyClean eight and those had sold for $60 and I had to refund my buyer. Don't wash these with Oxy. Do not soak Paige jeans in OxyClean because you you will ruin the leather tag. It like just shrunk up it was awful. and turned right. rock hard. Last bag, last bag. Thanks for hanging with us. Yeah. All right, this was a- You thinking me for hanging with y'all? This was a Goodwill? Yes, this was a Goodwill. I think, yes. You don't even know. I do, I do. Okay, like so this- been this... sitting in the room for months. So cute. This is just an, a no name, but it's that um, milk silk fabric, they call it. And I just know this style will sell. Oh, they just have a brand. I like mini boho, it says. I don't know, but super cute for back to school. And it was really inexpensive. So picked that up. What are these? Bobs. Oh, Bobs. Why did I? I got these for myself, actually. Um, you heard I, of that brand? Yeah. Are they supposed to be good? They're Skechers. Skechers makes bobs. And these are the kind of like Tom's. Bob's by Skechers. <laughs> I, I just thought these were really cute and I, I got them for myself, came home and tried them on. I, they didn't fit me. They're a size nine and I have natives that look very similar. So, and they were only, they were 10 bucks. So I figured if they didn't fit me, I would sell them, which I will. I gotta take all the stuff back out to put it in the oh. in inventory okay. anyway. These, you know these. I do know these. Yeah. These are Bionics. They are. And good shape. What size are you? What size are you? Oh, here it is. Ten. Ten. Yep, like perfect condition. Just some bionic needles. Do I need to go toss these in the sink? My favorite. Oh yeah. You do love the A natives. Pair of natives, but they just need a magic eraser. A little dingy. They're a little dingy. Well, I think these are the bone color. So sometimes they're white and sometimes yeah, they're bone. Yeah, I don't really bone. personally like those ones. I don't either. I think they look they, dirty. They look dingy. I was excited to find these because you guys know we're in Florida. We do not find bogs very often because no. we don't have a need for them. Usually someone went on vacation. So these are in great condition. They're a uh, size 13. Minus 30 it says on there. Yeah. They. I mean, like I said, they literally look like someone went to go visit some family up north and might have worn them once or twice and they outgrew them and they got donated. So that's <laughs> typically when we find bogs or any kind of nice snow boots down here, they are usually in really great condition for that reason. So these are, I really like this pattern. These are like the ones Keegan actually wears outside. So much style, yeah. Oh, there's, I lied. Not but wait. There's two more pairs that have there's fallen There's more. Out. Yes, a couple more pairs of shoes. These are dance goes, which I'd never seen this style before. I thought they were really cute. They just need a little bit of Wonder Balls on them. And I like a little button there. They are, leather and they're size 40. I thought they were in pretty, pretty great shape. These, I've never bought, uh, what are these, slippers, but they were made well. Oh, made well, okay. And they appear new. Size nine. Yep, size nine, has a style, they're from holiday of 2020. And yeah, they appear new. So I thought I would give them a try. They might not sell till Later, I mean, are, they are my size. We don't, I don't need them though. It's too hot for this state. It is. I'm sweating just sitting here. And the last pair, check these out. Well, those are interesting. These, do you remember the ice cream shoes I had? Yeah. That's the same brand. The brand is a regular choice. Oh uh, yeah. They yeah. make funky shoes. And I picked up a pair of, they had like ice cream. I don't know, they didn't even have a size. They were not in good condition. They still sold. They've got a really cool bottom. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of patterns yeah. on this. Uh oh, we're not barking. Are though. Sorry. And they're a size 39, so they actually had a size. I'm trying not to buy shoes as a shoes. Is. Uh, wood here yeah. too. So they're interesting for sure. Yeah. Very weird looking. Yeah. But cool. Yeah. All right, guys, that's my thrift haul. I'm glad to get these bags off of the floor in our bedroom. And now I need to enter them all into our spreadsheet and hopefully get this stuff listed in my next batch photo taking. So that's just a tip. I had someone ask me recently, I'm short on time. They're a part-time reseller. How do I maximize getting listings up every single day? Because we all know the more you list, the more you sell. That's just how it works. And for me, I spend a day taking, doing nothing but taking photos. And by spending a day, 
I mean, I might spend a combined like three to four hours. You will be shocked how many items you can photograph. I do it in like 30 minute increments and I set a timer and go, 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 especially what I suggest doing is doing all shoes, you know, clean up all of the shoes, sit down, I sit on the floor and in my light box, you can get through so many, do all jeans, do all shirts. You kind of get into the habit. Okay. I need to take the pit to pit measurement. I need to do this, that. So that's how I do it. And then I just have all these pictures on my phone. And as I think of it every day, some days it's zero, some days it's one, some days it's 10. So yeah. Glad that you list them. That I list. Yeah. Yep. And then I'm I- on your listing or- Yep. We're driving across town, car line, whatever. And then every morning, if I listed anything the day before, I cross list it using list perfectly across all of my platforms. I list everything the kid is in first besides men and housewares. And then I push it. I sell on Mercari, Poshmark, and Kitizen. A little bit on Facebook Marketplace. And then a little bit on eBay. So, right. yeah. All right, guys. We will see you in the next one. Give this video a thumbs up on your way out. Let me know what was your favorite piece. And we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.